Good evening everyone. Today I in part of the fellowship series uh video number 1 I'd like to talk about FET that the fellowship entrance test that is uh 2023 it is going to be held uh well this brochure is of FET 2022 because uh, 2023 dates are not yet out but uh, i've drawn some information from the past bulletin so that you know that the last exam was held on 10th february and uh, the next exam uh, actually the past exam was delayed so the next exam is tentatively going to be held somewhere in september and hopefully uh, we'll know the dates earlier than that so basically what are the subjects these are all the subjects that can be uh seats that can be found uh this seat matrix varies each and every time because uh, as per the hospital data uh, what seats are left and what new seats have come what they've got approval each time that varies so that you'll have to check in the upcoming brochure but this is to give a tentative idea so as far as orthopedics we can see we have arthroplasty we have uh, sports medicine we have spine surgery and uh, Uh, hand microsurgery trauma acute care surgery so and some other uh, fields as well and there might be some other uh, seats opening up this time and they also have an option for international students uh, which you can see over here uh, arthroplasty hand and microsurgery interventional cardiology uh, spine surgery and others So the exam fee last time was rupees four thousand four twenty. So the question paper, uh, there will be a separate question paper for each fellowship course or club group. So what is this club group? Some subjects have been clubbed together so that they don't have to check you know separate uh, papers. Uh, so I'll come to that again. So the total number of questions in each paper will be hundred, and it will be part uh, divided into two parts: part A and part B. So the part A uh, of the question paper would be from the feeder broader uh, specialty. So uh, it'll be for orthopedic surgeons. It'll be from orthopedics. And if any other clubbed uh, specialty is there, it will be coming from there, like general surgery and neurosurgery. So these things might be clubbed together. So uh, you might be having questions from neurosurgery and general surgery as well if you're an orthopedic surgeon. Now the part B is going to be from the super specialty course you are applying for so that is the major deal but this uh, point that they have mentioned that 60 questions uh, uh, well uh, you know there there can be some uh, compromise on that sometimes uh, you get more questions of the feeder broader specialty even in part 2 so uh, you think of it as 50 50 uh, and you have to prepare for both you have to prepare for your broader specialty which you are already doing and you have to prepare for your super specialty as well so this diagram sums it up pretty well this is part a of the paper this is part p this is 40% weightage and the questions will come from your your specialty which you are already doing and uh, from the clubbed specialties uh, the other uh, specialties who are also eligible for this super specialty course those questions also will come so if you are an orthopedic surgeon you can expect questions from neuro surgery and general surgery as well so for details you can uh, go through the brochure it's a pretty big uh, brochure but you need to know all these minute details so uh, this is what i was talking about clubbing so what is this clubbing example spine surgery sports surgery and arthroplasty fellowship courses the exam for these specialties have been clubbed together so you don't have to appear for different papers if you want to appear for spine surgery uh, then you you have to appear for the same paper which will have questions from uh, sports medicine and arthroplasty as well so that is what is this clubbing and this clubbing can also vary each year like last year they have clubbed this this year they might club uh, uh, trauma as well so you need to be prepared for 
your broad specialty and all of this too even if you want to see it only in spine surgery you need to be prepared for sports medicine as well so uh, these club fellowship courses will be treated as a single unit for purpose of online submission of application form and examination so part a of the question paper will be from eligible feeder specialty only part b from all the club fellowship courses so this is what many people they don't understand and uh, that is what i wanted to clarify that you need to be prepared for all the club super specialties as well so if you are applying for spine you want to get a spine seat you need to know about sports medicine as well so this is what i have been telling and uh, through this video i would like to enlighten those who could not get this and uh, th this table shows what was clubbed last year but uh, you know you need to pr start preparing for the exams al already right you cannot wait for this brochure to come and then you sit and prepare so because uh, the brochure we don't know when it's going to be out uh, because they have not even announced the tentative date yet but supposed to be somewhere in september so prepare for all the subjects uh, uh, including all whatever could be clubbed together uh, so that you don't miss out in the last moment because that is what do, is going to decide your rank so the marking scheme you will have incorrect response negative marking so that is important because there will be 25% negative marking so it's better if you don't know the question uh, don't make any wild guesses rather uh, leave the option uh, but if you can eliminate two options from your choices then you have a better chance of scoring marks so that you can take so 50% if you can eliminate the options you can go for a guess guessing amongst the two options left but if you're not able to do that please leave the uh, question alone otherwise you might uh, lose marks and uh, i'd like to uh, tell that uh, uh, we are uh, working on helping uh, uh, fellowship aspirants and uh, we will continue this series uh, to help fellowship aspirants uh, who wanted to get a super specialty qualification and as for orthopedics we have uh, mock exams we have our largest question bank which has recalls solved recalls with explanations and uh, uh, there is my book uh, where i have solved all these questions along with references which is available on amazon and uh, the latest version is available in the mentor exam app and i intend to make it uh, a one destination everything under the roof for orthopedics so that you don't have to go anywhere else uh, and actually in fact if you just do the question bank which i have prepared it is more than enough to get your desired rank in fet and it will also help you in in your pursuit of dha dubai health authority and overseas examinations for orthopedic super specialization and qualification exams as well as aims rishikesh and uh, various srship exams so i would implore you to take a look at that and i also uh, would like to emphasize that mcqs are very important uh, definitely theory knowledge is important but for this exam since it's a competitive exam you need to focus on mcqs and solve recalls that is what i am providing and uh, stay tuned uh, please like share and subscribe because uh, i would be bringing out more videos uh, and uh, also if you have any queries or if you would like me to make any videos such as this to help you out kindly message me uh, uh, there is a link in the description box where you can contact me and i'd be happy to clarify your doubts thank you dr leen